if, if what you do is write plays, then write a play about nuclear weapons. If what you do is make documentaries, make a documentary about nuclear weapons. So we really urge people to work in whatever department and whatever vocation that you're in. I think there are a lot of people who um, are producing more widely seen documentaries about nuclear weapons. It feels like especially this past year, I think there will be several of them coming out. Um, in terms of media, yes, we are continually calling and uh, sort of putting forward experts, counter-experts, um, to, to speak to this issue. But in many ways, the most powerful thing is to have ordinary people. I think your story is really compelling. You may be the right person to make the call that you will be taken seriously because of your military background in a way that other people who can be more easily dismissed cannot be. And so I think that you are 100% right. We do need the story to get out. Um, and we need it to get out driven by the story which is momentum for change, not the story which is response to um, another ongoing terrible thing. So we get a lot of emails from um, from the Washington Post or from media outlets, but it is often after something bad happens that we're asked to respond to that and say, yes, that, that thing is exactly as scary as you think it is. Then part of the challenge will be changing the narrative to a proactive approach that starts telling the story on an ordinary basis instead of a, here's another scary threat that's happening in the world. And I think that is something that everybody can be engaged in, in doing.